Can you tell which way the trade winds blow? Well, on Maui now, so the scenery may be a little bit different, but I like how you can pretty easily tell that the trade winds are blowing always in the one direction by the lean of the palm trees in the front. How'd you like this as your backyard? Or front yard for that matter. This is the Isle Valley on Maui. Uh, just small mountains. They're, 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 they're kind of small. Only a couple thousand feet. Well, I'm here at the uh, Io Valley. The wind sweeps up from the ocean on the trade winds. Comes up into these depressing cliffs. Lush, lush valley. Apparently, this area gets more rain than anywhere else in the entire world. I believe it when I see it. It's not raining yet. There's a pinnacle. Here's the Io Needle. Elevation. 2,250 feet. When I come back over this way, you can pretty much see all the way down the valley. In fact, I think you can almost see the ocean. I feel like I'm walking through a rainforest again. Is that Amaryllis? Out here in the wild tropics of Hawaii? I think it is. It does look quite imposing. Way down here, and then way up there. That is a massive tree. I just like this shot. The sound of water rushing by. There's a needle from up high. Make that little birds flying around up there. I see one, it's quite too dark. How strong are your wheels? I'm on a one lane winding road through a mountain pass. I'm on a blind curve. Whose safety is in my hands now? See, they warn you. Okay, yeah, this is, this is awesome. This is seriously awesome. <laughs> I sure wish I could get down there. That looks like really, really awesome. Of course, it's probably just straight up sea cliffs. Just a windy country road. Mountains of Hawaii. room to navigate. In case you were wondering, there is traffic coming from both ways on this road, see? Standing here on a precipice on this windy road and 
Got out to take a look at this cove here, which I think is like spectacular. It's the other side. I was up on that side over there before. Now I'm on this side and standing on the edge of a precipice, as promised. Kind of a nice place to live in this village over here. One last parting shot of that nice cliff right there. Still would have wanted to get to the top of that. That would have been awesome. And the trade winds. So I pulled up on the side of the road because I saw a sign that said, Be careful strong rip currents. I'm thinking that leads to the beach. Check it out. Think I should go for a swim? Doesn't look too rough. come back with a waterproof camera case for this. I'm going to go down to it, put my uh, five figures on and do it. I feel like I had a much easier way down than the way up. Oh well. Time for a little blowhole action. Got my five fingers on. I just have to cross this murky stream of water. Where's that view of the blowhole? comes a wave. Some pretty big waves coming in, I'm not gonna lie. Big wave coming in. Here we go. Cleared off the lens, here comes the big wave. It's crashing in. It wasn't really that big of a wave. Here comes another one. See, it's angry. It's gonna be a good one. God, that was huge. Here comes another big one.
so, but I decided to stop here and see the sunset first.